Now we're going to talk about the nature of light. And we'll start off looking at this picture. And we've seen this earlier in the course. This shows all the possible frequencies of light. Light comes in a variety of different frequencies. Light, remember, is a wave. You can think of light as the electric field, or really the electromagnetic field, vibrating back and forth. And it can, it can vibrate or oscillate at different frequencies. And different frequencies of light correspond to different colors. So red light, for example, is a different frequency light wave than orange or yellow or green or blue or purple. And those different colors correspond to the colors of the rainbow. And each of those different colors uh, is, is a different color because it is a light wave at a different frequency. Now, only this narrow band of frequencies can be detected by our eyes. Frequencies that are too too high to be detected by our eyes are ultraviolet or x-rays or gamma rays. So these are very high frequency waves over here on this end. And down here radio waves and microwaves are very low frequency waves. But this whole this whole picture, all of these together are are called the electromagnetic spectrum and all of these things are light waves or also referred to as electromagnetic waves. Now lots of things of course emit light. The most obvious obvious thing would be lights. You turn on the light and there's light coming out of it. A computer monitor also emits light. Light shines out of those little pixels and your eyes can detect them. But other things can emit light too. If you turn an electric stove on high, it gets hot enough to glow red. It's emitting light. And it turns out that just about anything can emit light. And scientists noticed this a long time ago. And they realized that each element, if heated up, can get hot enough to emit light. And the light coming from different elements looks different. Take a look at this picture. This shows the light coming from hydrogen gas that has been heated. If you get hydrogen gas hot enough to glow, you get light that looks like this. And I'll tell you what this diagram means. This is showing just a portion of the spectrum. So this is showing the visible light. And we've got the lower frequencies on the right in this picture. And the higher frequencies, the blue over toward the left end. But this range of this the the width of this picture represents a range of frequencies and this is the range of frequencies of visible light but if you heat hydrogen gas up you don't get all of those different frequencies you only get these four this red light right here and then these three little lines representing three frequencies of more bluish light right over there and that's all you get hydrogen emits light at only those frequencies Here's another picture, and, um, and the frequency is related to the wavelength, and this just shows the numbers as well. You don't have to know those numbers, but the point here is here are two other elements. This shows helium and neon, and on the top of the picture is the, the light emitted by helium. If you heat helium gas up enough, you get light in certain frequencies, and only those frequencies. And if you heat neon up, it emits light at certain frequencies, and you see them there. Here's another one. This is the emission spectrum for iron. Iron's a larger, more complicated atom, and it has a more complicated spectrum. But again, only certain frequencies show up. And that's true for every element. Now the question is, why? We see that each element has a specific a set of frequencies of light that it emits. We call it, a, call it an emission spectrum for that element. The question is why? Why are only certain frequencies of light emitted by certain by, by an individual element? Well, it turns out that atoms and light interact with each other, and to continue our study of atoms, we need to understand some things about light. And we'll we'll talk about light and then come back and see how our understanding of light and how light interacts with atoms explains this emission spectrum or, or any emission spectrum.